the, the, the whole shit is so crazy. Yo, you know, I was thinking the first thing I thought, I, the two things. And listen, I ain't even the most, I won't say I got a lot of street sense, but I, I've learned a thing or two. Two. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, street sense in the sense of, uh, like, nigga, I know. What is street sense? Well, well, streets, all right. Okay, okay. Well, street sense is what they'll say is, well, if you know when something about to pop off, so you could avoid it, you could see it more than a motherfucker who's just green. You know what I mean? When when it, when in the, I, I was saying it's a difference between having security and then when you do homie security. Security not gonna let the venue get closed and y'all all outside congregating, chilling. When you leave. Okay, YouTube family, DJ Academics speaks to basically WAC 100 about the takeoff situation. And a lot of people called Academics out because he was doing his journalistic duties as a civilian covering the news and they was calling him a snitch and all that. Look, man, I always criticize Academics when it's time, but I damn sure always give him credit when he needs to get his credit because a large platform like that he could have acted like so many of you disingenuous celebrities and even regular people i seen it with my eyes and he didn't do it you other folks are hypocrites academics actually did his thing and, and he shared it in the mix of people what's going on i'm about to play the whole video i'm gonna fall back you won't hear from me no more but hit that like button salute to the i smoke hip-hop nation salute to the families and the families of people who have lost someone deep like takeoff and others in the world man love all of y'all i don't have to tell you to stay dangerous if we're all living safe already salute okay okay well street sense is what they'll say is well if you know when something about to pop off so you could avoid it you could see it more than a motherfucker who's just green you know what i mean when when it when in the i, I was saying there's a difference between having security and then we, we do homie security Security not gonna let the venue get closed and y'all all outside congregating, chilling. When you leave it, when you leave an event, you go straight from the event to the car. Somebody holding the elevator, the driver up front. You gotta limit the exposure because hopefully wherever you coming from, right? They had metal detectors, so it was checking niggas that you could at least be a little bit safer inside. But the place you most vulnerable is outside. As long as, as long as they paying these dudes twenty five dollars an hour, this kid don't mean nothing, bro. Yeah, but, but I don't even think they had no secret. I think they were just rolling with the with, with J Prince homies, man. No, 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 no. Nephew then was out there. You right with them? They didn't put because I mean by all right, you know, as if they was out here with me, or if I was out there with QC them, right? They cover supposed to be right, especially down there. You know, they, they, they claim this thing they got, you know, is what it is. And you even remember when you, me and you had the conversation. Yeah. I questioned it. You told me I was tripping. I said, all right, well, we'll see what it is. We're trying to see what it is, right? So, you know, nobody that's with me, that's tied to me, is going to be applying pressure in any kind of way to my guests. It ain't going to happen. Yeah. Lack of respect, sign of disrespect, you know that. It looked like a nigga was trying to mediate. I, I watched this shit so many times, man. Like, I feel like I, 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 it should replay in my mind. It looked like a nigga was trying to mediate it. I don't know if you really look at it, look at it. It looked like a nigga gun went off and he shot takeoff in the torso up close. And that's when shit kind of get a little yeah, weird. For that to happen, homie, that mean a gun was raised. Ain't no mediating once you up that thing. End of the day, bro, that conversation. All I heard was nephew Quavo say, man, we out. Let's go. I'm going to be honest, though. I'm going to be honest, though. What he said, too, though, he said, y'all going to make me hurt somebody. And and you know, for a lot of niggas, you in an environment with all niggas now. That could be... Gonna, have something to say about that. That could be taken as a threat. Like, if you and a nigga arguing and in your face, and all of a sudden he said... Man, man, whack! I slap the shit out of you, nigga. You gonna immediately respond how? Um, depending on what the situation is. Well, well, clearly in this situation, like I think, I think some Quavo felt a nigga was trying to press him, but the other nigga was trying to mediate it because he said, "Yo, 
yo, they family with us. Like, he's the Mike Princeton. He said, yo, they family with us. So it ain't going to be no disrespect. It's family. They ain't going to try to disrespect you type shit. And then all of a sudden, they started talking about basketball and some other shit. Should have stopped it. Should have stopped it. Yeah. That's funny. I mean, but you know, at the end of the day, I advise all artists, bro. And I stand on this shit. We had a time where it's a reset going on. It happens about every decade or so. It's been a lot of crazy shit going on the last year, as you know what I'm talking about. Outrageous, crazy shit. Motherfucking robbery shoots in Beverly Hills. Way out shit, right? Like, bro, do what you gotta do. Fulfill your obligations. All that extracurriculum activity just because minimize the chances of some bullshit happening and cut that out your program, bro. And wait this shit out, bro, and see what next summer looking like. Do what you gotta do. Do your studio time. Do your events that you have to do. But all this, yo, let's just pull up over here just because fuck that. Eliminate the possibilities of some bullshit happening for no reason, bro, and get out the way. Hey, I'm hey, I, I I wanted to ask you this too, right? Because I really disagree with this principle, especially when it comes to shit like this, right? I don't think this is happening because, like, with this situation, this not rap doing it. It's the culture around rap. You know what I mean? Like, y'all niggas shooting dice, basically still in the hood. No longer exclusive. Superstars used to be exclusive. Yeah, you can't that's true. Do them like that. Niggas think now you gotta go to the hood and be seen with the gutter to be. You know, official or to be, nah, bro. That's what you got the internet for, bro. Feed your fans. That's all the fucking official you need to be, bro. Yeah, now I agree. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Putting something out on TikTok, dropping a video, uh, dropping something on the streaming uh, platforms, or even just feed them, you know, on Instagram, bro. It's got way more reach than going to fuck around over here. Where's, you know, three, four hundred niggas, you know, from the hood. Yo, yo, it, it, here's the funny part, too, because, you know, you know, I, I ain't got no legal degree, but I did a little research. So, you know, you know how they do it in Texas. If that shit is murder, you get life. If it's manslaughter, which is see that that might come into play. Right. If 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 it's just they could prove, you know, what I mean, well, it's two people. Well, it's actually two or three people shooting. So there's so there's the guy with the. What you say? I heard a couple situations. Yeah, but it's. I heard a things going off, so I didn't. Yeah, it's a I yeah, it's a couple know. weapons going. Yo, so in a, in a possibility, somebody could catch a manslaughter charge if, like, say they. I'm just giving a scenario. A nigga say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if a nigga say, "Yo, well, I was I was protecting Quavo," yeah, up the fire, and yeah, I hit the wrong person but that's that's accidental so that's that's manslaughter in texas you, the max you could get is only 20 years on a manslaughter 20 years on a murder it's 100 years Damn. i don't know man I, mean, I wonder like you know i was kind of seeing the video and i was looking at your thing and i was trying to position it and it looked like you know it was the left side but i don't know was the entry room from the side, the back, the front came out of the side, back. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of trying to hey, figure that out. Hey, I got, a th I got a 3D picture of the whole bitch. Listen, you see, to the left, so when you look at it, right, there's, there's two different angles. But on the left side, behind the first camera view, which there's a shooter back there. We never see that person. There is an escalator that goes to the first floor. There's an escalator. And then basically, because it's basically like a square. It's like a square. So it's an escalator there, and then the path goes, um, keeps going along. So I'm thinking whoever was doing something was probably either there ducking down or probably just either got out of there real quick. But man, this. Oh, man, I'm real, bro. Like, like, it was too many women in there, too many regular people in there. For, I mean, bro, even what was, if, if nephew said something like that. That's handwork, bro. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Well, one of the one of the women, the woman who got online yesterday to say, "Yo, y'all stop saying um, take off dot over a dice game." She put on her story today. She said, "I already talked to the cops. I told them all, everything I knew." Oh, well, first of all, whoever did it going to jail? There's too many people in there. Uh, 
uh, <clears throat> you know, somebody will tell. And there's too many photos and videos up of people for them witnesses to look at and say, yeah, that's him. Yeah. Nah, shit. Man, a situation like that, like, I, I, I you know what I mean? When I think... Of, I think as artists, Takeoff was my favorite Migo. I told you that. That was my favorite. I love him all to death. But Takeoff was just so cool and laid back. You know, he was a lyricist. I loved his bars and shit. You know, he was the most. Uh, he was the underdog, but 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 he was the team player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you're right. I always looked, I always looked at Quavo as the quarterback. You know what I mean, I looked at Takeoff as he's the team player. When everybody going at it, he gonna go sit down over there in the corner till they figure out. And I always called all set to Bobby Brown of the group. The bad boy of the group. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, I mean that really. But I just think it's personal. You know what I mean? Man, yo, now I ain't gonna, yo, this shit is so crazy. Yo, you know what's so crazy too? And this is another thing I was saying about having that homie security. Every nigga act like they could shoot a gun and got aim, but. The reason you want you want an off duty cop as your real bodyguard or somebody really trained, man, going to the range don't equal when, when you at the range. Maybe you can hit a target, but not when bullets flying back at you. You're not still looking in the direction of the target. Uh, outside of Lil Wayne security, which that's real security. Them dudes don't give a fuck if you a crip blood. They don't give a fuck about none of that, right? They train to go. And I uh, look like a lot of them ex military some crazy shit. Right outside of Lil Wayne security, it's a dude in Miami named uh, PK. Mm, yeah. He, he got a one hell of a security team, right? Um, and these dudes move right, you know what I'm saying? Formation, they paying attention, they moving the artists around because they see shit the artists may not see. And they ain't giving a fuck about the artists getting mad. And they ain't giving a fuck about getting fired. You gonna fire me after you didn't? They didn't got you back home safe. They cool with that, right? Because when you lose somebody on your watch, that's a strike against whatever you're supposed to represent. Your security, right? Yeah. Yo, by the way, they're about to blame blame like you know the Prince family just for you know again. I see Sauce Walker put it up there like, nah, y'all niggas should have came to Houston with me. So it, yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's gonna be some said? division among it. You seen what he said? What? Josh Prince responded because he's like, man, I wish you'd have been with me. This would have happened. Josh Prince responded and said, it's up on Sauce Walker Bay. What you mean by that? And, and, and Sauce responded and said, I already said what I mean by that. Nigga already said it. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. That, that's, hey, I knew that, like, again, w even when I was looking at the footage and shit, right? I knew it was possibility of a sloppy night happening when you have an artist and and, and and Jazz Prince, who's the son of Jay Prince, the nigga who, who who helped found Drake. If they got to ride in a car, he's riding next to Quavo, and and they got a gun right there on the seat. There's one nigga in the back who they say it was somebody's birthday somewhere around. So everybody's like a little bit. Everybody mostly like it's one of them complex events. Mostly white kids there and shit like that. They had 20 security guards, man. I remember saying, I'm like, damn, they got about seven security per, per amigo. Like, w when they go into actual events, they're not they're not with that, like, low budget, not get, not being on point shit. It, it, it's, it, it's being comfortable with, with clearly saying, yo, these the homies in Houston. When we link with them, everything.